contenders. And then we'll finish it off. Flamin' Hot uh, Chicken Tenders, and then we got the Ghost Pepper Wings. Hey guys, it's Andy here. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make some Flamin' Hot Chicken Tenders and Ghost Pepper Wings. Go through the ingredients, what you're gonna need to make this. So we're gonna need some Flamin' Hot Cheetos. If you don't like spicy, you can use the regular Cheetos or even the jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. Uh, and for the wings, we're gonna use the Pocky Ghost Pepper Chips. Uh, if you missed that video, I'm gonna leave a link below. Check it out, I reviewed the chips. And then we're gonna need some regular chicken breast tenders. If you don't have any tenders, you can just use regular chicken breast and just chop it up. Uh, also, we have wings, just the regular wings. You can buy that anywhere. We're gonna use a little blender or a chopper to chop up the chips. And then we're gonna have an egg wash station, so you need some eggs. And then we'll, we'll do the coating here. So let's get to it. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the uh, flaming Hot uh, coating. So we're gonna, we're gonna use these and we're gonna chop them up with a uh, little blender. So just grab some. Put it into a little chopper. So now, coat it up. We're just gonna chop it up. So for this, you want it as, as fine as possible so you can coat coat the uh, the chicken tenders. That's good. Let's see. This is how it should look. A little fine, so you can coat the, the chicken chicken tenders. So we're gonna do this a couple of times. All right, so now we're gonna make another batch of the coating for the chicken tenders, so we're gonna do another one. So now we're gonna make make the egg wash. So we're gonna need about four eggs, and so we're just gonna beat it up. Whisk it, just make it a good consistency. This, this is going to be used for the coating of the uh, chicken tenders so you can stick uh, the flaming hots to the chicken tenders. So, as you can see, it's a good coating, it's good. That's pretty much it. Dip it in the egg, egg wash, and then we're going to coat it with the uh, flaming Hots. So here we go. So we're gonna do the first one. Chicken tenders, Just get a good egg wash here. Get a good coating. Go back in here, let's do a roll. There we go. Just a couple of rolls in here. And there you have it. You got your flaming Hot chicken tenders. You're gonna do that. So we're gonna do this a couple times. Uh, just remember when you're handling chicken, always wash your hands before you touch anything else, uh, just in case of uh, contamination and uh, salmonella. Uh, so here we go.
All right, so this is what you have at the end. Uh, this is what it should look like. Uh, the chicken tender is all coated with the flaming Hot. And now this is ready to, to be fried. So we're gonna, now we're gonna grind up the ghost pepper chips for the wings. Again, the consistency should be like this. It's very spicy, so be careful. So we're gonna do a couple of rounds of these, and then uh, I'll show you how to coat the wings as well. So be careful not to touch your eyes. Uh, again, these these are ghost pepper chips, so they're very spicy, and uh, they'll definitely give you a burn. So uh, definitely wash your hands in between things. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. And now we're gonna coat the wings. All right, now so we're gonna open up the wings, and we're just gonna coat some wings for an egg wash. So we'll just do the same thing what we did with the chicken tenders. Now we're gonna go with the egg wash the wings and then go into the ghost pepper chips and that will be your coating so get a good good coat on that definitely as you can see so now we're going to make the rest of the wings so we're just going to coat some more wings coat So this is what it should look like after you've coated all your wings and then now we're ready to uh, fry them with the uh, chicken tenders. So for, for the deep frying you can use any oil, uh, I'm using the canola oil, your vegetable oil works. So we're just going to pour some in here and uh, get this going. You want it on a medium heat, not too, too high because you don't want to burn your chicken tenders, you want it really slow. So you can cook the chicken. You want you, you want to make sure that you cook your chicken all the way through, or else you're gonna have you're gonna have some raw chicken. So definitely have it on low heat, low to medium, not too high. Um, so this is how much oil I'm gonna start with, and uh, we'll get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the flaming hot chicken tenders. As you can see, the oil is pretty good. It's not, it's not too hot. If it's too hot, just turn it down a bit. Turn the flames down. You don't want to burn your chicken or the chips or the coating. So definitely. So all you gotta do is just turn it around a few times, and then just let it cook. Let the chicken cook. So for here, I usually leave it about. Uh, five minutes or so um, 
and then I, I usually take one out and I'll cut it just to make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through. You don't want to eat any raw chicken, so we go. I'm gonna do another one. So I usually do three at a time, and then uh, then we'll see how it goes after that. After five minutes. I took a piece out and I just cut it in half just to make sure that it's uh, good to go. It's cooked all the way through. So it looks pretty good. So we're ready to go. So I'm going to take these guys out. These guys should be ready. Um, and then I'll put in the next set of, uh, of tenders. And then we'll finish it off. So get these guys all dried up. Get the next one set in. Go. And the last one. Now that the tenders are done, now we're going to work on the wings. So we're going to start with the, the chicken wings, the ghost pepper chicken wings. So again, we're going to put it into the, to the fryer. And we're going to do this one again about five to ten minutes depending on your temperature of your oil. You don't want to burn it so go slow um, but pretty much I'll make sure to spin these guys around. Get that coating crispy. There you go. Right, so here we are at the end of the day. We got the final product. So we got the flaming hot uh, chicken tenders, and then we got the ghost pepper wings. So um, usually I eat it with ranch. You can use whatever sauce you would like. So I got a piece here. I'm gonna try it. So they're perfect. They're cooked all the way through. You can see, it has a little spicy kick to it, and with the ranch, it's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you see anything else, drop some comments below. And uh, if you like what you saw today, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.